Okay, so where we left off was we uh, had recorded some very, very bad takes. So I'm going to actually go through and delete all these. I'm going to say bye-bye. I'm going to go to take two and say bye-bye. Delete it. And so now I've got three empty playlists. There's one. I'm going to start with that one. And we're just going to play it up to uh, May God's Love Be With You. So here's another a good cheat is you can move your window... So I'm going to move this out of the way. I can keep this there if I want. I don't really need the transport anymore. And I can do the same thing here, and I can got my, I've got my chord chart right there in front of my face. I don't need my F major 7. And there we go. I'm going to go back to Pro Tools, Command-Tab. I'm going back and forth between the applications. And now I've got my screen separated where I can see my chord chart, and I've got my session over here. I'm going to hit Save just because I don't... It just. I'm always hitting save all the time. So off we go. I'm going to hit command space bar to start recording. And I can come in at bar 2, bar 3. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and we're going to play it up to and may God's love be with you. So again, we're not singing because we want to record the vocals separately. So if you can, just follow along. do a punch in into the chorus. So let's get, I'm going to pause and I'm going to play that two other times and I'm going to show you how to edit between them. So, so you don't have to listen to me play that again. Uh, I'm going to pause and then I'm going to come back when I have, I'm going to go to playlist number two and I'm going to record and then I'm going to save and I'm going to go to playlist number three and I'm going to record that and I'm going to save. And then I'm going to come right back when I have three completed takes and I'll show you how to put those together in what's called a composite. So it's actually a verb. I'm going to comp them, um, which means I'm going to take the best of each one and make one full take. So, all right, here we go. Okay, so I have take one, playlist one. I have playlist number two. And I have playlist number three. And I'm going to save. So usually your last take is probably your best because hopefully you keep getting better and better. And I try to never record over stuff. I mean, why should, I mean, for the first couple takes, maybe yes. It, if it really, really sucks, record over it. In that case, just stay on the same playlist and hit record. But if there's even one syllable or one way you played it in one little part of the song, keep it, make a new playlist, record again. The secret is naming your playlist, because here's what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to make this bigger now since we don't need our chord chart. And that's not what I want. Command equals to get back to the edit screen, and I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to get this out of the way since I don't really need it. And then I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to zoom in, which is Command bracket. And now I've kind of got a good vision of that's a little bit too much. But there we go, that's good. This is take three. And this was actually my best take, but let's say there's something in the other takes I like. So the first thing I do is before I start messing up any kind of playlist, I'll make a brand new playlist. Watch this. New playlist. I'm going to call this AGT Comp 1. Again, I'm always numbering things because what if I create a composite of all different takes and I go, you know, I like that composite, but what if I used the big, this vocal on this track right here? And so you don't want to, you may as well make as many playlists as you want to, because you can, you can. 
and you can make all different kind of versions of edits and there's no need to keep recording over tracks or racing tracks or racing playlists. I have so many playlists. The key is naming stuff so you know what the heck it is. So I look in here, I know what's my first take, I know what my second take is, and I know my third take. I liked the way I played third, the third track uh, playlist a little bit softer than I played the other one. So let's listen to it. Okay, so there's, that's where the verse comes in. So, uh, first of all, here's something really, really easy that's very helpful is markers. To do markers, if you're on a big Mac or an iMac, it's the enter key in the number pad. If you're on a laptop, hold the function key, which is the bottom left button, the FN key, and then hit return. So, and so while it's playing, I'm going to be hitting function and then return, and I'm going to type. So the first thing is going to be the intro. And then the next one is going to be verse one, uh, ground control to Major Tom, and then commencing countdown. Well, I will call that verse two, okay, just so we'll have markers. So I'm going to hit play, and then while it's playing, I'm going to hit function return at the spots where I want to put markers, okay? Here we go. Okay, so now we've got some markers. We've got the intro, we've got verse one, I put protein pills just to give myself a, a cue that I'm changing to an A minor there, and then I have verse two, which is um, countdown commencing on, and there's my puppy again, and then this is the part, and may God's love be with you. So I can just put markers in, you can put verse, chorus, bridge, but I'm just kind of putting markers in to cue myself, and also when I edit, I'll know where I'm editing at. I'll know where's what. Okay, so now we're gonna edit this, and this is where we do not want to use grid mode. Just to remind you, grid mode, right here, these are your modes. We're gonna to get to shuffle and spot, don't worry about them. The ones we're gonna concentrate on right now are grid, and we want it to be just in regular grid. You can see it's got, we're gonna to get to that too. Just leave it in normal grid mode. And then this is slip mode. Slip mode means it moves to nothing, to no grid. Wherever you click, you click grid, is telling your mouse it's only going to click where you're telling it and where you specify the grid is right here. We have the grid set to one bar. So you'll notice these little lines right here. If I put it to half notes, now we've got twice as many of these little lines. And if I put it to quarter notes, now I've got every single beat. You can see where I'm hitting the guitar on the quarter notes. So I'm going to use Playlist number three for the beginning of the song up until the first verse. I don't want to be in grid mode because, and I'll show you why. Let's go to slip mode and let's go to where we can see kind of, again, you can zoom in, command bracket, and this is where the beginning of the downbeat of ground control to major tom. Let's say we want to use take two for that. So I'm going to highlight right before the C of ground control to major tom and drag all the way to the left. I'm going to zoom out, command bracket. And I'm going to take this, and I'm going to Command-C, Copy. Got to get used to these shortcuts. Okay, now what do I do? Remember we made a comp track, composite track, to make to take pieces of these. I copied. I'm going to go to the comp track, and I'm just going to hit Paste. And now this is where you're going to see how important it is to name your tracks. Because you can see right here, this is AGT3. I know this is take number three. So if later when I'm mixing and I go, that guitar part's just not right, 
I can see I need to replace take three. I'm not going to go back and have to listen and figure it out. So now I want to put in take two from verse one. So I'm going to go to AGT2, and I'm going to zoom in again, command bracket, and you see these little arrows down here. And let's say we're going to go up to protein pills, and let's take from, uh-oh, um, sorry, let's take from here, and you see it, this is why I'm going to be in slip mode, because I don't want to be exactly on the beat, and you'll see why in a minute. We're going to go up to protein pills, and again, we're not worried about these numbers at all, because we're not making an arrangement. It'll make sense in a minute. So we're going to highlight where this is, and you can play it if you want to, but this is ground control to major tom up until take your protein pills. We're going to copy this. This is, again, we're on take two, playlist two. I'm going to copy. I'm going to go to the comp, and I'm going to hit paste. And now I've got, if I zoom out, I've got take three starting it, take two right there. And let's say I want to end with take one. And I'm going to take it from protein pills all the way to this last chord, but I don't like that last chord on this take. I'm going to copy this, Command C. I'm going to go to the comp. I'm going to paste. And then I'm going to take the last note from, the, from take three. I just like that better. So watch this. I'm going to take the last note. I'm going to highlight it, copy, and I'm going to put it onto the comp playlist. So now, here we go. You can see here, we've got the beginning in take three. We've got the middle, the verse in take two. We've got the protein pills in verse two and using the first playlist. And we put on the last note from the last take. So the reason I'm not using grid mode is because of this. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to click right before this first seam. And I'm going to zoom into it, okay? And you'll notice right here, and if we'll play this, it, it sounds pretty seamless. But sometimes it doesn't. And I want to make a crossfade right there, okay? So I'm going to highlight right there, and I'm going to hit Command F to make a crossfade. And there it comes. Don't worry about this. You can change the crossfades and stuff, but we're just going to say fine. And when anything is highlighted in blue, you can, instead of using the mouse and clicking OK, you can just hit the return key. It's a heck of a lot quicker. Let me undo that, Command Z, and show you what would happen if we go to grid mode. So if I'm in grid mode and I try to highlight that, I'm, I'm moving in quarter notes. So it's not going to let me make a crossfade right here because the mouse is only moving in quarter notes, exact notes. Where that's great for copying and pasting when you're putting an arrangement together, when you're doing editing in vocals and guitars, you probably, when you're doing crossfades and stuff like that, and you're, and you're making composites of playlists, this is where slip mode, and again, the more you do it, the more it'll make sense. But if I was in grid mode, I couldn't do a crossfade, and right here I can. Command F, hit return. How do I get to the next seam without having to zoom out and zoom back in? You can hit the tab key. The tab goes to the next edit. You see that my mouse is moving. Boom, goes to the next place. And I can do another crossfade, Command F. And then I can go over here, tab, and then I can, you know what? The, I want to move that a little closer. So I'm going to use the trimmer tool. We're going to get to these, these tools, and you see it looks like a bracket to, or a backward C. And I'm going to drag that over there. Then I'm going to go back to the selector tool. And then I'm going to drag another crossfade right there, Command F. And then there we have our first composite. We double click on the zoomer track, and now we've got our whole guitar track put together up until the first chorus. So let's stop there and let's come back.